Of course, you know Streamlabs CrossClip. It's that awesome program that allows you to take your long form content and edit it down to bite sized short form content to post on your favorite websites. The best part about CrossClip, hey, we've just gone mobile. That's right. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the CrossClip mobile app to start sharing all your favorite clips to everyone you love. Here we go. What is going on, all you awesome streamers? Wild here, helping you become bigger and better with everything Streamlabs and CrossClip. When it comes to creating a clip, there are two ways. You can copy and paste a Twitch, YouTube, or Kick URL to the designated field and select Create Clip. Or you can upload any video that's already stored on your phone. If you're not sure you have the correct video, don't worry, you can preview it before you select it. After you upload a clip, you'll be brought to the CrossClip editor. At the bottom of the editor, you will find a yellow slider. Use the slider to shorten or lengthen the clip to your liking. After setting the length of your clip, select Next. This screen that you're currently looking at is where you will do the bulk of your editing. Start by selecting the orientation of your video. The choices are portrait, landscape, or square. Next, you'll be able to decide if you want to toggle on or off, showing the input borders. You can select the inputs for your clip under layers. By default, you'll see camera and content layers. To add a layer, click on the add layer button. Select the trash can button next to the layer's name to delete the layer if you need to. For each layer, you can switch the orientation and unlock or lock the layers. To determine what shows on each layer, use the input borders to zoom in or out on what should be displayed in the view. You can also move them across the screen to focus on a specific part of a scene. After you've made all the necessary changes to your input regions, simply click the yellow Next button. On this screen here, you can change the output format, blur the background if needed, remove or add the cross cliff watermark, and toggle off the outro. Make whatever changes you think would be best for your content. You can preview your clip by pressing the play button or muting the audio here. Before continuing to the next screen, rewatch your video to ensure that it's edited to your liking. Now it's time to save and upload your clip to your platform of choice. Start by giving your clip a title. This will help you stay organized when searching for clips in the My Clips section of the app, which you will see more about in just a moment. Select your frames per second and the quality you want to export, then hit compile. Compiling your clip usually takes only about 30 seconds to a minute. Once your clip is ready, you'll receive a notification via email. You can also find your clips by clicking on the movie reel icon from the home screen of the CrossClip app. To share your clip, find the clip in your My Clips tab and click on the share button on the clip. You'll see one of the last previews of the video in a pink share clip button at the bottom of your screen. Now you can click share clip. All right, let's talk about how you want to share the clip. Some of the options you have include sharing with contacts, saving to your photo album, and uploading to different platforms such as TikTok or Instagram. All you have to do is just pick whatever preferred platform you want, follow the steps, and you're good to go. If you like using CrossClip, then you're going to love unlocking all the features that we have for it, which means you want to check out Streamlabs Ultra, and I'll do you a favor and put a link down in the video description. And if you end up making any awesome clips with CrossClip, hey, here at Streamlabs, we want to see it. Don't forget to tag us and we'll be more than happy to check it out and maybe spread a little bit of love. Wild helping you become bigger and better with everything Streamlabs and like I said, cross clip. I'll catch you all next time. Take care, happy clipping, and as always, peace.